Hello once again our most developed student. My name is Confident and welcome to our 24 minute lesson. This is the ultimate guide in maths, science, career guidance as well as a sneak peek into my personal experiences. This is a channel designed with you in mind. Let us dive into today's lesson. Hello our most developed student. My name is Confident. Welcome to the ultimate guide for term one work for those of you who are doing grade 9 mathematics and we've already looked at quite a number of activities here in our ultimate guide for mathematics if you are coming into contact with this lesson for the first time you need to get hold of the previous videos because it covers all the work that you need to know for your term one so we have looked at whole numbers that's the first part here and then and we looked at some activities behind it uh, taken from previous papers we have looked at prime numbers and we have also looked at quite a number of stuff and then this is the topic that we are in whereby in the first part of this topic we looked at speed distance and time and we went on to say it's very important to do conversions at the same time we looked at an example here so we did this given example just to explain what was being done there but now this question we're looking at activity 3 3.1 it says a car traveling at an average speed of 100 kilometers per hour covers a certain distance in three hours so let's underline what is important so we have a car that is traveling at an average speed of 100 kilometers an hour it covers a certain distance now that certain distance we don't know it we're going to call it uh, our d right and then we are given also time there is the time three hours right so we can actually start to uh, uh, take information in here to say what do we have we have got speed here uh, speed is 100 kilometers per hour that's good and then we don't know the distance so you're like distance remember is speed distance and time distance is equal to we'll call it our d and then time there is given time is equal to three hours all right so it's good if the units are correct time must be in hours the speed is also fine kilometers per hour so then it says at what average speed at what average speed that's the question at what average speed must the car traveled to cover the same distance in two hours so which means the distance did not change but the time changed so now we are looking at another information to say all right with this information here we are going to change now our distance will remain the same d but our time will now become two hours and then they are saying our speed is equal to it becomes our s there is a new speed so if the time becomes less which means uh and the distance is same the speed is going to be the one changing so now first of all let's start on this side because all the information is complete on this side what do you do you come up with your triangle here remember that triangle which will help you to calculate speed distance and time in this case we are looking for distance remember i said distance is s times t you need to know this table it will help you so now what does it mean it means distance because we are looking for distance d distance is equal to speed always write it in full times time which is equal to now our speed is 100 kilometers an hour you don't have to write the units times time is three hours if you multiply that you are going to get 300 remember distance is in kilometers so there is our d there which is what which is 300 kilometers and then they did mention that he is going to what at what average speed must it travel to cover the same distance so the distance never change so you can come here now and say okay since the distance never changed that distance is still 300 kilometers here 
though we called it d now we know it's 300 kilometers what is the speed you are going to use the same uh, uh, triangle here to say when I'm looking for speed now do this to say speed which is our s here speed is distance divided by time which is equal to what is our distance we know our distance never changed is 300 divided by time now they say it will be in two hours you can see now that the speed if you use a calculator it will be 150 but don't forget speed is kilometers per hour the units are very very important because it shows that you know what you're doing they can penalize you if you forget these units so the answer there becomes 150 kilometers an hour you can see that he traveled in the first three hours he was traveling at a lower speed 100 kilometers per hour but now he was moving even at a very high speed i mean if you're traveling in our roads you cannot travel at 150 the maximum speed in a in a in a highway is 120 so you can see that this guy is now or this lady is traveling at a very high speed now so guys that's the first part of how you approach these you get four marks how are they going to mark your work now very very important is your working they will start here to say okay you gave us the formula for speed for distance and then they will mark you they can give you two marks there if not uh, yeah they will give you two marks there and then even here for you to identify the speed and then they'll give you uh two marks again there so you say you can see that four marks is worth this question now let's look at the next one again the next question says uh 3.2 a train traveling at 40 kilometers per hour takes three hours for a journey it's good to be underlining the information given so this train is traveling at 40 kilometers per hour it takes three hours for a journey now the moment they give you that information you can be writing it down to say i'm given let's just do it here to say here i'm given speed s is equal to 40 kilometers per hour and then what else t i'm given three hours always make sure, make sure that the units are in kilometers per hour for speed the time is in hours the distance is in kilometers and then they say how long will it take the train to complete the same journey traveling at 90 kilometers per hour so from 40 to 90 it means it increased so let's come here with the new information now the new speed is now 90 kilometers per hour and then uh they say the same journey which means we are missing two things here time is going to change so how long so time we're going to leave it as t and then distance is equal to is the same distance that we're going to get here we don't know our d so now to find our d quickly you take your triangle just like previously remember distance is speed times time so i'll say d is s times t this is a multiple choice so i want to do it quicker which is equal to speed is 40 times 3 which is equal to what 40 times 3 is 120 kilometers that's the distance that's what you write here to say my distance is 120 kilometers are you with me then the question wants time now you come back to this triangle here to say how do i get time t is equal to say d over s so it's d over s which is equal to distance it never changed it was 120 over speed the new s is 90 are you getting that which is equal to then you can use the calculator now to find what is 120 over 90 equal to and then if you um, press sd here it is 1,33 so they're saying a, a car traveling this uh, how long will it take the train to complete the same train traveling like that they said 1,33 now look at this now it's 1, 1,3 what 1,33 hours i'm gonna write that which is 1,33 hours but now what is this 3,3 so which means it's 1 comma 3 3 
So the first answer it's off. It's not one hour. One hour is almost there, but it's not four hours is off. But what about this one? Where did they get the 20 minutes? Let me show you now. If you say one comma three three hours is same as saying one plus zero comma three 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 remember it was continuing hours so it is this zero comma three that they are converting it to minutes remember there is now one hour 20 minutes so what you do with the calculator you say remember from minutes to uh, from hours to minutes we say it if you have got minutes and you're converting to hours what must you do you divide by 60 but if you have got hours and you're converting to minutes what must you do you multiply by 60 because hours are bigger than minutes so you multiply by 60 so even here you're going to say 1 plus 0 comma 3 3 3 3 times 60 this part that 0 comma 3 3 you multiply by 60 so if you do that let's see what it will give us so if i say 0 comma 3 3 3 3 3 3 and then i say times 60 equal to you see i'm getting 19.99999 if i round this off shift setup and then fix i'm rounding it off to two decimal places you see that i'm it giving me 20. so this is also equal to 1 plus 20 minutes so this is one hour that's where the one hour comes from so it's one hour 20 minutes see that so the answer there was our d that's where you are getting the answer d there all right so let's look at the last one here for this lesson we're still going to continue but um just to break this into small uh parts so looking at 3.4 it says a lineage drives from cape town to Vusta. Uh, a distance of 120 kilometers in one hour very important information again look at the distance d and look at the time one hour see that so we are given d is equal to 120 kilometers the units are correct t time is one hour also the units are correct we measure in hours Actually, it's one hour, 30 minutes, so we need to do something there. It's not complete. One hour, 30 minutes, we need to convert that because we don't deal with minutes. She then drives from Foster to Stellenbosch, a distance of 90 kilometers in one hour. So this is the second part. They will always give you two versions, so also separate it. The new version distance is 90 kilometers, and then T is one hour and then it says calculate the average speed at which she traveled now i want you to pay attention here they want us to find the average speed so what do you do whenever you're finding average speed this is the formula i'm gonna write you're going to say average speed the moment the distances are different you're going to find say average speed is total distance or distance traveled is total distance or distance traveled divided by total time or time taken for the whole two journeys so we've got two journeys here the distance and time but don't forget whenever you're dealing with the two journeys we always have what we always have our triangle remember D is s times time so now let's start with the first one it says uh, uh let's look at the distance say the distance here is 120 the time is that uh we leave it like that the second distance is what is 90 kilometers the time is that so now let's look at the total distance what is the total distance the total distance total distance is equal to which is total d you say 120 plus 90 you agree with me so that is what um is 210 kilometers all right so we have got total distance here it's 210 
over O, you don't need to even add it, you can leave it like that to say total distance, which is equal to uh, 120, the calculator will do that, plus 90 over total time taken. That's where you need to be careful now. We say it is 1 hour 30 minutes, you need to convert this 30 minutes. You remember what you said? You say 30 minutes, you say from minutes to hours. We will have to convert this to hours. What do you do? You divide by 60. So what does it become? It's 0 0,5 hours. So it's 1 plus 0 0,5. So the time taken here is 1,5. This is same as equal to 1,5 hours. Remember what I did? You say 1 plus 0 0,5. Because 30 minutes is 0 0,5. So we are going to add this 1 plus 0, 0,5 so we are, we are going to have now um, 1,5 hours so the time taken now will be 1,5 in the first journey the second journey is plus one hour then it will give us the what the average speed do you see what I'm doing there so the average speed if I use um, the calculator now is going to be you take the numbers as they are, 190 plus 90 over 1,5 plus 1 equal to, and then you've got 84, which is the 84 kilometers per hour. So just to recap, guys, what did I do? What did I do? Whenever you're finding average speed, when they say calculate the average speed, you say average speed is total distance or distance traveled over time taken, which is total time. You come back and say, what was this total distance? So from Cape Town to Vosta is 120. And then she moves on from Vosta to Stellenbosch, another 90. Right. So you find that total distance, which is 120 plus what? Plus 90. Then the time taken, I repeat again, you had to use this time to say, 30 minutes is 30 over 60, which is 0, 0,5. So it's 1 hour 30 minutes, which is 1 hour plus 0, 0,5 hours, which is that 30 minutes. That's where we got 1,5 hours. Mm -hmm. That is the first journey. It took 1,5. The second journey took 1 hour. You say 1,5 plus 1, which is uh, what you're having, 2,5. Then when you divide that, you get 84 kilometers per hour. Is this the end in this lesson? No, we are still having 3,5, question 3,5 and question uh, 3,6. I will encourage you, stay tuned for the last lesson on this part before we can look at the next part uh, for the ratio and rate. So I will encourage you, look at this next question that we're going to be looking at here. It says, if it then can run two kilometers in eight minutes, how long will it take to run five kilometers if it maintains the same speed? And a certain distance is covered in three hours at a certain average speed of at an average speed of that. How long will it take to cover the same distance at an average speed of that? This is another three marks. You don't want to miss these. Should it come in your test or in an exam? So stay tuned for the next lesson. Thank you.